This concept is found a lot in the subcontinent and in people who do not know Islam well. They believe that if a child, two years of age, three years of age, is constantly sick, or there are calamities in the house, poverty, uh, lack of jobs, lack of provisions, they blame the name. And they say, the, and they say we went to a scholar, to a great alim, and he told us that change the name of the girl or of the boy, and all your trouble would go away. And when you ask, what is the girl's name? They say, Fatima. Subhanallah. What is the boy's name? They say, Ahmed. So what's wrong with the names? He said, Wallah, we don't know. This is what the Sheikh said. And he said, unless you change the names, the calamities would increase and continue. This is totally bogus. Totally fa uh, uh, fabricated. And not only that, it can reach to the level of shirk. Because this kind of superstitions, this kind of believing in bad omens is shirk. The Prophet said, in an authentic hadith, to shirk, that believing in bad omens is shirk. Ibn Mas'ud says that all of us have this belief in bad omens, but Allah Azza wa Jal saved us from it by having tawakkul, by depending, relying, and only trusting Allah Azza wa Jal. So the feeling of hmm, this black cat that is dead on my way means that my day is going to be horrible. I'm going to fail my interview. I'm going to uh, uh, not be able to get the woman I'm proposing to to accept marrying me. So I'll go back. This is shirk. If you continue to do what you want to do, this means that you have tawakkul on Allah Azza wa Jal. So the names in this context, does, the names do not affect your destiny. Your destiny has been written, but names may have impact on your personality. Saeed ibn al-Musayyib, one of the great tabi'een, he said that my father, al-Musayyib, said that his father, whose name was Hazn. Hazn in Arabic means rough and tough and difficult. So Hazn, may Allah be pleased with him, who was a companion, went to the Prophet ﷺ. So the Prophet asked him, what's your name? So he said, Hazn, meaning difficult, rough. So the Prophet said, no, no, you are Sahl, you are easy. So the man, may Allah be pleased with him, said, no, I'm not going to change a name that my father named him with. Now his grandson is Saeed ibn al-Musayyib, one of the great tabi'een. He says, since then, toughness and rudeness and hard, uh, harshness has been in all of his descendants. Meaning that the name has an impact on the individual's character. Not that it has an impact on his destiny, whether he gets a job, whether he gets provisions, whether he's healthy or not. It has nothing to do with that.